G'day YouTube, Warbles on a lot here. Let's go and have a look at the local show. Normally I don't go to the show because it costs money. And I'm a tight ass. This year, because of the drought, the government has given the town council a big chunk of money. Town Council has decided that a reasonably good way to uh, spend that money in the light of the drought is to pay the admission for anybody who wants to go to the show. So instead of collecting admissions, it's free. So let's go and have a look at the show. The Gleninus Showground. We even get a map and a program. Russell Riley. Russell. Rose Valley Road, Emmerville. How you going, Russell? Good, mate. Yourself? I've been having fun. I've been uh, having fun. So have I. I've been laughing with Gus House. And that's been straight, too. Excellent. Rear Echelon Sideshow Alley. Pretty quiet on a Friday afternoon, first day of the show, quarter past three. All the usuals. Shooting galleries changed a bit since I was a kid. Boats look like 1960s originals. We have a kindergarten roller coaster. By the look of it, they've had a bad year for poultry. That seems to be all closed up. Centenary Pavilion, 1972 vintage. Pretty sure the centenary they're talking about is New South Wales, perhaps. And this is the commercial pavilion. Even with free entry, there's not many people here. The real estate agents. Somebody's got a lathe and makes assorted wooden googaws. Uh -huh. Placebos for sale. Yes. Free consultation with an empty chair. Hand poured soy candles, three for sixty-five dollars. Buy deer hide jewel. Who would have thunk it? Lots of those signs around. The Gleninus History House has thrown quite a good exhibition this year.
gotta do. That is a writing desk. Okay. Hmm. Few things gone wrong with that since last time I saw it. Big bits of it missing. They run an old people's home in town. I assume there'll be uh, more to look at in the old pavilion. But well, we might as well run through Sideshow Alley. The Dodgem Cars. Back in 1975, I fractured my skull working on the dodging cars. Never ever learned anything in a mathematics class ever again. Perhaps an opportunity left. Who knows whether this thing's even finished being put together yet. Oh yes, a seat on a pendulum. Shooting up sun, yuck. Okay. Now we have a twin version of that. And we have a rotary version. It's sort of. And of course, there's reasons for coming on Friday. Okay, so that's all jacked up. I can see the seats, but I think the seats look like the. I have no idea what this thing does. Or perhaps, yeah, I can see now. That's a folded joint. It's not finished being assembled. Wouldn't occupational health and safety have a field day with that driving bloody trucks over power lines? Yahoo Yippee 173 TWR The particular Queenslander Who shines so brightly they drive over power lines What a bloody wanker Either nobody brought their animals to be judged Or they're finished with that and they're taking them away Somebody's out for the world's worst fuel consumption. Twice. Now that looks like the definition of um, exceptionally useless. Let's 
somebody's had a lot of fun with their steel bending machine and their welder. Yeah. Obi Wan Kenobi. Genetically engineered sheep, line bred with a giraffe. Longer necks, they browse the gum trees better. Tiny tots on horses. One day they're going to grow into those hats. And on the other side of the snake charmer, we have the chainsaw races. Making splits. Well, as the trains were racing, this setup here is for the axe racing. Put those pre cut short logs either vertically on the tripods or horizontally for people to compete against each other with axes. Whereas, as I said, these are set up for chainsaw racing. All the fun of the fair. Should be fun about nine o'clock tonight when the rain starts. Little kids with their horses. They got a patent on cute, nearly as good as swamp wallabies. Now front row of Sideshow Alley. Healthy, nutritious junk food. Many quad bikes if the Dodgem cars aren't adventurous enough for you. Ten dollars a ride. Also clean, but geez, that's an old ride.
If history doesn't repeat, at least it rhymes most of the time. In 1979, against that wall, a drunken local yokel died after he stood up in his car in the Big Whizzer and he got catapulted straight out and over the fence. And for some reason, the Big Whizzer always gets stuck there. But it'll throw you, if you want to, it'll throw you out of the car, against the wall, you'll break your neck and die and then slide down the wall. And those who don't know their history are doomed to repeat their history. Which is probably why the Big Whizzer gets put in the same spot every year. Let's do the old pavilion. This is where people exhibit what they've actually done. Anita Stewart, of course. First prize. Yep. And second prize. <laughs> Got a very go-ahead ceramic community here in Glennons. Not so certain whether they do it these days, but for a long time the Technical and Further Education College used to run really good ceramic courses. But yeah, of course, the Teapot Queen has won first prize. And here we have textiles. Betty Whitten, friend of my mother's, got the first prize. Mary Wharton got a third prize. Mary Wharton got a third prize. Mary Wharton got a first prize. Any filtered article. Skin of yarn raw, Murray Wooden skin of yarn raw. Betty Whitten won another one. Murray Wooden hand spun article child. Okay. Murray Wooden is 83 years old. I don't know how she won something for a child. Perhaps she found a child and taught him to spin. Mary Wooten hand spun woven any article. I'm having to read these because I've seen so many of them. Like another one for Mary Wooten hand woven scarf any fibre. Another for Betty Whitten. Another Murray Wharton second prize hand woven scarf any fibre. Murray Wharton two skin commercial dye. One first, second first, three first, four first, one second, two second. Three second, four second, one third, two third, three third, four third, five third.
quite how the spinning and weaving in textiles comes off as paleontology. I'm not quite certain, but anyway, I think I got an even count of my mother's scalps, kill tallies, whatever you call them, trophies. And of course, yes, that's one of my mother's looms. A carding machine. This is just kind of a display, I'm pretty sure. 30 piece tea set, yeah, I had to load that. This is an interesting. Okay. I'd love to see that thing in action. It's a fold up spinning wheel. Okay, let's have a look at all of the other stuff that people have done, which is not spinning and weaving. Learning this kindergarten primary school with this light this camera is having a field day with all this color as long as I can keep the bright sunlight from the door out of the frame One of the things kids miss out on when they live in the city. They don't have local shows in the suburbs. And the Royal Easter show. doesn't have space to hang up everything that all the kids have done. Some of this stuff is really good. Oh, you come into the Lara Duck, check your fine arts. Realise, realise, realise. Yes, I do like that. Work on your eyes, kid. Howie <laughs> Eastwood, Junior Fine Arts.
visible got glass on them which makes them really difficult to photograph or video but we will make the effort we've got a second prize Raylene Watson, third prize. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. How can we get you? First prize. With actual genuine feathers, which blow in the breeze. Another one of these birds on black. Dorothea McKellar's poem put to canvas. Lights, lights, glass, reflection. Is there no answer? Apparently not. Now this is a pencil artist, Sarah Fletcher, young lady just had an exhibition at Galra Gallery, something like that an original will probably go for $1,750 and somebody had the hide to give it a second prize. Yeah. I feel the difference between an average good pencil artist and an exceptionally good pencil artist. She's been a very busy girl this year. So much easier to video these when they've got no glass on them. The sisters grim. Feminist take on fairy tales. <laughs> reflections, reflections, reflections. Low torch with tomatoes. Third prize. Oil on canvas. Oh, if there was three, that would be a triptych. A duet. Of oil paintings, perhaps? Or maybe next year. There'll be a third. Wow.
I think this is an example of using your palette knife instead of a paintbrush, daubing the paint on. This is what the Sarah Fletcher's drawing. One of those oil paintings you have to stand back in order to get the full benefit of the work. It is good. Particularly the flowers. Gotta say the birds are a bit sketchy for a grand champion. YouTube doesn't get cranky at the idea of breastfeeding. Portrait view of a black butt. Of flowers, nearly as good as the painting of the flowers. Black and white photograph of sheep. Pencil drawing of a sheep. Photograph of a sheep. It's all hard work. It's not easy. Well, I think a lot of people are going back to the electric to get started. See where they got their fences and all that. Pays your money and takes your choice, eh? Hey? There's not more bushfire photos here.
corn will regrow. Road sign. Hoy nice. Total fire ban, wonder why. Minimalist, black sheep. <laughs> Not minimalist at all. Look what fell off. Swamp all of it. Free shot of it. That is some kind of false colour, I'm guessing. Swamp wallaby in really bad lighting conditions. Lambs. All drinking at a bottle. Alpha male eastern grey kangaroo in monochrome.
same xantherias, different false colour. Neat straight rows. Really fire. People do all the regrowth, bouncing back. Happy beans, flash of fires. Can we finish it here before? I think that's water. That's interesting. Cute. Feet ball. Bag points. Camera showing that is blue in real life, they're purple. Look like jacarandas. Man with three dogs. <laughs> Guy is a national kitsch. Laser cut sword bolted to a rock. I don't think that's a before and after, but the juxtaposition is pretty cute. That's an interesting perspective on the drought. Sheep lined up, eating grain dropped behind the ute, I suppose. No wonder there's so many on that theme.
or something. He's got a drone. Hand fed sheep. Finally, it rained. Deepwater Station, I think. And that's one half of the old pavilion. Slightly too regimented and contrived for my liking. Mm. That's more colourful, I can see why it won. But I like that better because it's greener. The greenier the better, in my opinion. Quilters have been busy. Yeah, they have It's in the cage. Yes, you can compete for what sort of lunch you send your kid to school with. First prize for six pythons.
First prize for a dark fruit cake. First prize for a spilt cake. First prize for a best banana. Doesn't matter what you think you're any good at, you can put your work in the local show. It will be exhibited. It'll probably, if you put enough of them in, come up with a prize for something. Blokes only. Blokes only. It's a 37 millimeter anti-aircraft shell. Yeah. First prize, tiny weeny little flower arrangement. Give you an idea of the size. Second prize, highly commended. First prize, novice champion. That's cute. These are broken pots. I'm going to give you a name for that. Psycho Ceramic, the cracked pot. First prize, a gift box. Unusual wall hanging, class two. Teapot with scissors. Twenty-five fleeces. And then there's more. And unlike pretty much everything else, you have to know what you're looking at to understand why these are good. Merino fleece of the show, 74%. How you going, James? Good. Who's that? Uh, recording it for posterity. Champion Pot Fine. 
packed on any variety. I don't think these are actually for sale. I think Jackie Francis and LJ Hooker just were looking for somewhere to stick their sign. This is kind of the real miscellaneous stuff. McCrami won the champion in the handcraft section. Scotty's going to be having fun with their welder, won first and second prize. Those of you who pay a lot of attention to my channel, remember that for an upcoming video, it will become interesting. That's an interesting thing to do with a skull. I am assuming that this was the home brews. I don't know how you judge almost identical bumblebees but somebody did it. Local apiarists always come up with a pretty good display. Yeah, they do. First prize for bees. Bushfires versus beekeepers. Best display of vegetables. <laughs> Best display of vegetables by a bona fide home gardener. Doesn't matter what you've produced, somebody else will judge it and tell you how good it is. First prize, cut any other species of flower. This 
smells pretty flowery too. Information overload, information overload, information overload. <laughs> modern and shinier. The Friday afternoon at five o'clock. This place is not looking good at all. A trampoline and I cannot identify any of the staff in case my daughter is one of them. Snicker, snicker, snark. Okay, so the ropes and the struts and the bungees take a whole bunch of the tension and the trampolines just to land on. Kids trying to somersault, but the centre of gravity's wrong. The exact precise person one would expect to find here. Yeah, 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 yeah. The town's resident goth. Yes. The name is Willow Demon. Willow nice Demon. No yes. worries. You're on YouTube, Willow. Oh, brilliant. Right, can I upload my own YouTube channel? Why um, not? My YouTube channel is Willow Demon on YouTube. There will be new content every week starting March 1st. And you are talking now to the demon. Excellent. Yahoo Yippie. You're on Warbles on a lot channel. Lovely. Well, Willow, I'm going to go over and see what Adam Marshall has to say. Yeah, that's got, I'm, I haven't met him either. <laughs> okay. There we go. Adam Marshall. Not bad, mate. I have to present Willow Demon. Willow Demon? I'm doing a lot of singing. Bam. Talk about backlit. Good to see the National Party's finally put him in a cage. Possibly the best place for the National Party, inside the cage, locked up. They've certainly got them all locked up. But I think I've found the entrance to the cage. The view from inside the cage. Watching ring events. I cannot believe the number of people who are not here on a free show on a Friday afternoon. At 20 past five. And it's not even raining.
car there, but don't worry about that. Well, there we go. Probably clear the rest. You wait and see. There he is, ice cream. Look at that. Here, right here, what a pity. First rail down, ice cream down. They're still on open on Bailey. The Mr. Beagle, Junior Six Bar. There she goes, doing nicely, getting up there a bit. Oh, Bailey, bad luck, bad luck. And that leaves one, Jim's on his way. He's got the bell from the judge. Up takes the name of the horse. Young William Wood comes to down Armadale way. Great jumping fan. He had a degeneration. Cupcake has drawn the right. But he'll clear the rest. You wait and see. They miss the easy ones and hit the hard ones. There he goes. Oh, he's drawn two. Bad luck, William. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll just wait for our official placing and then we'll uh, And if it's anybody, yeah. Pretty much empty tea rooms. Seven varieties of dead animal. I don't think he needs to ask this fella for ID. This is the best of the lot. The judging of the moo cows. Contented cattle, all of them happy, calm and quiet. Selling water tanks, God only knows what that thing's for. And we have the military. <laughs> you want to get a photo with you? No, that's alright. No, that's alright. I'll just get the tree behind you to get cut some of the light out and I'm now getting a battery warning, bugger poo. <laughs> If they're as keen as they are green, then God they're keen. Howdy doody. Not so bad, not so bad. We have actual permission to video. Uh, not me, no. <laughs> oh, kind of a bit late, I can't edit. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, well, the Army's just had a changing of the guard at their display. I'm getting a battery warning. So let's just say that I have in captured the Glen in the show from one end to the other. Not quite arsehole to breakfast time, but we're getting close. Warbles on a lot of YouTube. Ciao.